Hi team, Mr. Retour here. Um, we're doing proofs, chapter one. This is mixed practice one, question 15. So let's have a quick read. X equals a squared minus b squared, where a and b are both whole numbers. Prove that x is either odd or a multiple of four. Okay, let's start by factorizing um, this expression. So x is equal to, as it's different in two squares, you've got a plus b. And you got a minus b. Now, you got a scenario here. So um, let's look at you got a scenario here where either a plus b can be even or odd. Right. So we'll look at both. Um, both cases and see what we can work out for x. So let's just look at a plus b um, is even, then a and b both must be even or both must be odd. That's the only way you can end up with the even number. So when you add two even numbers makes an even, or odd add or odd is also even. Now for similar reasons, if you do an even, subtract an even, you'll end up with an even. And if you have two odd numbers, odd, Subtract an odd will also give you an even number. E.g. 7 take away 3 is 4. And you could try any of those numbers, but an odd number, subtract an odd number, ends up as an even. So what you end up getting is x being equal to, so we get this first scenario where 2 plus b is an even number. So let's just call that 2n. And then we get the second bracket where we get the situation where when you're subtracting either two even numbers or two odd numbers, we also get an even number in that situation. And 2n times 2m, that ends up being 4mn. So again, that's going to be, well, that's going to be a multiple of 4. So Call this any integer product, um, both positive. So let's just call that four uh, k. So x ends up being um, a multiple of any integer number. So when a and b are even, x ends up being a multiple of four. If we look at the other situation where we say x plus b. So we've got this case here, and we've got the second case here, where if we say a plus b um, is odd, then a and b um, um, then a, sorry, so if this is odd, then a um, uh, must be or even, and b uh, must be odd. Or A must be odd and B must be even. Because an even and an odd, when you add those together, will end up being odd or uh, when 
A is odd and B is even, odd and even, when you add those together, it ends up being odd. For similar reasons, when we subtract them, um, an even subtract an odd number, ends up being odd, and that, or an odd number subtract an even number, ends up being odd. So in this situation, this is going to end up, this expression is going to end up odd, and A minus B is going to end up odd. So we get a we end up with, let's call that an odd number, um, so we can use the same numbers, n plus n1, and we end up in another situation where we got two, um, actually let's not use the same letters, p and q, let's use something different, um, just so that we're crystal clear with this proof, so let's say x can be um, 2p plus 1 and the other expression a minus b we can call that 2q add 1. And if we expand this out we can end up um, 4pq plus 2 Um, P plus 2Q and plus 1 times 1 is 1. So we get that times that, 2P, 4PQ. 2P times 1 is 2P. 1 times 2Q is 2Q. 1 times 1 is 1. So um, when A plus B is odd, X ends up. So if we can put this in here. And this is a multiple, this is a multiple of 2, so we get 2pq plus p plus q, close bracket, plus 1. We end up x being an odd. So in this case, x, x is a multiple of 4. In this case, x will end up being um, some multiple, let's just call that um, 2s plus 1, which is odd. So we have proven, proved that x can either be odd or multiple of 4. In this first scenario, when a plus b is even, x is a multiple of 4. Let me just put that down. x is a multiple of 4. Or, when a plus b is odd, then x is an odd number. Thank you.